welcome back programmers in the today's section we are going to talk about advanced concept of python now if you want to learn basic concept of python so link is in the description this is advanced part if you want to become a expert in python programming language this video is gonna help you so let's begin i'm gonna talk about practical part not the theory part so let's start with two books in here you can see the first book is recipe for mastering python 3 now if you are learning python 4 or 5 if you are watching this video in future so this is gonna help you too because this is just an advanced topic of python this is first book python cookbook this is a very famous book for python and cookbook is available for java c c++ but this is a very popular book and the second book is expert python programming this is the best book for designing coding and distributing your python software so we are gonna see this and this book i'm gonna match two books and create a perfect course for you so this is the first video if you wanna see next video so subscribe my youtube channel now hit on the like and bell button to never miss my update share this video to other python programmers comment me for next video or series so let's begin i'm gonna use this visual code ide if you wanna use other IDE it's okay we are gonna just learn okay if you want to learn in online IDE so this is the best IDE repl.it and choose language python you can choose any language you can see when I create on new repository you can see python node.js c java c++ ruby html css js shima go rust kotlin beta qbasic fourth and so on so we got a whole programming language in one site so this is the best site on website on google so let's just first print the hello word yo and i'm gonna run this you can see i got yo so let's just use this ide for now this is my main.py project okay let's focus on first chapter data structure and algorithm i'm gonna choose important topics only in here and in here first chapter is getting started but we are not gonna see the getting started chapter we are gonna direct go in the syntax best practice below the class level so we are gonna see this let's first see chapter 1 data structure and algorithms okay so the first one is unpacking a sequence into separate variable now the problem in here is you have an n elements in tuple or sequence that you would like to unpack into a collection of n variables for example let's take a variable in here let's say p equal to let's say i have a 4 5 6 7 and 10 i have 5 elements in my tuple so what if i create another 5 variable like a b c d and e equal to p so is this okay because i stored a p in five variable five different variable so let's just print first p to know what p got so you can see p got a tuple which contained a five element four five six seven and ten so now let's just print a you can see when i print a so it prints a 4 because we unpack the p and store into 5 elements 5 new variables so that's how you can 
unpack the variables oops i just opened a u torrent my ethical hacking with python javascript is downloading so in the next in the future i'm gonna upload a ethical hacking course to first i'm gonna learn okay what if we print the b let's just print the b you can see we got a uh, 5 so a equal to 4 b equal to 5 c equal to 6 t equal to 7 and e equal to 10 so data type doesn't matter if you change 6 into let's say all in one code so it is gonna when i print this c so it value is all in one code you can see we got all in one code and that's why because we print we stored a third value in c now what if we just unpack the four elements let's try so you can see the error value error too many values to unpack accepted four so it means we accept four elements but too many value in here so you have to add a five element or you can say variable to store five element okay so what if we change the tuple into the list let's try this you can see we still got all in one code because we unpack the list and store into different types of variables okay now what if we add another element of tuple in here so let's add one two and three and let's just add another variable f and now what if we print f let's print the f so you can see we got one two three a tuple same as in here so this full tuple is unpacked into the f now in here we are gonna do same stuff okay so let's just create a three variable x y and z equal to f now let's just print the f x so you can see we got one because we done a same thing in here this is very important so you can see when i print y it is gonna print the 2 because we stored unpacked the f value which is 1 2 3 in x y z okay now let's remove all of this stuff now let's create uh, again p equal to 4 and 5 so p is 4 and 5 now but what if we take a 3 variable like x y and z and store the p value in x y z so let's see what type of error we got you can see the, again value error not enough value to unpack not enough value to unpack expected 3 got 2 it means expected it means we gave a 3 variable but got 2 so that's how you can unpack the value and that's all of the error you can code during this program okay now let's create another interesting stuff let's say a equal to hello a equal to hello and let's store h e l l o five elements or you can say five character in different different variable so simply again a b c t and e equal to i'm gonna change this variable name because 
we don't add the same variable let's say x equal to hello and i'm gonna pass the x in here so it means all of the x property is gonna store in a b c d e now let's just print first x so you can see what x contained you can see x contain a hello which is a string and if i print a so you can see we got h so that's how you can store the different different types of variable and element okay let's print p you can see we got e and and so on so c equal to l d equal to l e equal to o let's just print e to confirm you can see we got o in here okay now let's do some serious stuff okay let's just change the value a b c t to a again now what if i print the a you can see we got l because why because first a value is h but then we change the a value into l so first a is h and then a is l so first compiler c the x equal to hello and then c a b a equal to h b equal to e again c equal to l and again a equal to l so it change h into l so this is you want to remember you can write this too okay now tell me what is the answer of this let's say p equal to a list first is a string the string is code and then the second one is float value 12.21 the third one is integer and the fourth one is a tuple 1 2 3 okay i'm gonna just create a four variable the first variable is this special character i don't know what is name so i'm not gonna name it okay this special character you can do it too and then i'm gonna create flt variable and then i n t s because integer is the keyword so we can use integer in here and then again i'm gonna use this special character so equal to p special character flt ints and special character so what if i print the special character so tell me what is the output you can pause the video now the output is i told you before too the first output is code but then it changed the into tuple so obviously output is tuple because first the output is code and then compiler c o i used in here too so i'm gonna stuck in the last okay so that's what we done unpack a sequence into separate variable okay now let's just print the use this function so the first function need two argument second function need only one argument so because of that you can see in here if tag equal to equal to foo if tag equal to equal to foo yes tag equal to equal to foo so do foo i'm gonna call this function do foo x and y it takes two argument x and y so i just gave him two argument one and two so basically output is you can see the print is foo one and two so you can see one and two and then in here l if tag equal to equal to bar if tag equal to equal to bar yes tag equal to equal to bar so call this function do bar do bar take only one argument so you can see we got one argument in here we just pass the arcs in here because 
सो आर्ग वन आर्ग्यूमेंट इज हेलो वी जस्ट पास दी वन आर्ग्यूमेंट हेलो सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज गोना प्रिंट दी हेलो नाउ अगेन दिस इज गोना कॉल अगेन इफ टैग इक्वल टू इक्वल टू फू ये टैग इक्वल टू इक्वल टू फू वॉट नाउ सो कॉल दिस फंक्शन डू फू डू फू कंटेंट प्रिंट फू एंड एक्स एंड वाई येस दिस इज गोना प्रिंट फू एंड थ्री एंड फोर सो देट्स हाउ दिस वर्क दिस कॉड इज वेरी वेरी माइंड ब्लोइंग एंड आई नो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ हार्ड बट दिस इज पाइथन एडवांस सो देट्स हाउ यू कैन यूज द एडवांस टॉपिक सो देट्स हाउ यू कैन यूज द स्टार की वर्ड इन टू योर फंक्शन देट्स हाउ यू कैन इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट द एलिमेंट्स टू द वेरिएबल और फ्रॉम द वेरिएबल टू द लिस्ट टपल वर्ड एवर सो देट इज इट फॉर टू डेज गाइज दिस इज द देट वॉज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पाइथन एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोना टॉक मोर अबाउट इन पाइथन एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट सो टिल देन शेयर दिस वीडियो इफ यू लर्न समथिंग नाउ इफ यू आर थिंकिंग आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस कोड एंड पेस्ट इन हियर सो इफ यू वन ट्राई सो सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक यू कैंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस बिकॉज फर्स्ट आई लर्न ऑल ऑफ दिस स्टफ एंड देन आई एम टीचिंग यू सो द बुक लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू यू कैन चेक आउट द कुक बुक एंड एक्सपर्ट पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सो दैट इज इट फॉर टू डेज गाइज हिट ऑन द बेल आइकन सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल शेयर दिस वीडियो टू अदर प्रोग्रामर्स कम एंड वी फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो दैट इज इट फॉर टू डेज गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो